Are you listening to this episode on Himalaya? If you are, congratulations, because you're already using the best new podcast app out there. If you're not, well, you're a loser and missing out, so get it together. Uh, Whether you're a podcaster or a fan, Himalaya is designed with you in mind and has a ton of cool new features like curated shareable playlists and collections made just for you, along with personalized recommendations to help with content discovery. And the best part is, it's super easy to use. It's definitely my favorite listening app, and I'm sure it will be yours too. So do yourself a favor and download Himalaya today, and be sure to follow my show, Worst Firsts, once you're there. Bye. Here we are. Worst first, everybody. We have a cool, cool guest today. We're starting. I fucking, I'll just throw you right into it. Into the fire? Uh, I'm throwing you into the fire, Eric. We have my guest, my really good friend, Eric Griffin, who I've known for years. I know. Forever. And you've had so much success. I'm so proud of you. You guys may know him from I went, Workaholics. I, I think I went into the wrong field, though. I think I should have. <laughs> what? What, you got married to a rock star? <laughs> <laughs> Eric, uh, uh, yeah. Where guys, are you, Cindy Lauper? <laughs> Eric, single Cindy Lauper. Please, Joan Jett, somebody, anybody? Yeah, any one of those rockers? Anybody? No, that's not what I meant. No, know, okay, like, what did you mean then? I mean, like, like I should I should have I should have been, like, making fun videos and, like, Aww. being more engaging with my fans. Whatever. You're on, like, traditional, real successful people shit. I'm on like, hey guys, you want to see me stick a bunch of marshmallows in my ass? Like, it's, you know, it's a little different. Great video, by the way. Yeah, it's a great video. It's a great one. Make sure to check that out. Anyway, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad he laughs, too. That's like the best. Like, it make, I could say, I'm like, oh, I feel funny again. That's you great. are funny. I what love are you talking you. about? I love see you. what the internet does to people? Yeah, it's, you know, it's, like, it's, like, you. it's like you're in your head about like, is this, this isn't real. Right. I, I, I'm not, but it's like, yeah, yes, it is. This is like, you know, it's like it's viable. There's like 75,000 apps coming out right now every minute Every, you know, there's, there's a new app there's a new app like we do videos yeah, and then yeah, you yeah. can do funny things with them yeah you, know you what can I mean? put stickers on this one right. like everyone's this different one you can play music and go in slow motion it's like they all do the same shit same now. shit now there's tiktok are you on tiktok i'm on I, i'm on all of them but i don't do anything on any you of don't them. do anything on tiktok you know what whatever the app if if the app has the option to upload to another app uh-huh whatever that app is is the most important app true you know true like tiktok shouldn't you should not be if i was TikTok, I'd be like, no, we're not going to be let them upload to Instagram. Yeah, it's Why TikTok. are we letting them upload to Instagram? This is our thing. You no, know, because Instagram's better. Yeah. If you want to watch <laughs> it, you got to be on goddamn TikTok. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, You know, but they make them like, you know, you can upload it to Instagram, upload it to Twitter. Those are always going to be the giants, Twitter and Instagram. That's still, it. They're the There's main. still nothing that's beat it. Yeah. Nothing's beating them. You know, nothing's so. beating them. I mean, and Instagram's the beast. Instagram's the main one. I mean, I know. you can do everything. They've got on the there. most engagement, and they're trying to take that away. They're trying to, like, ruin it. They always do with their stupid know. algorithms. I hate that. What are they doing? That bums me out. It, it, hell yeah. Because I follow people, and I don't see their posts. I know. You're a like, where is this? I'm like, did so and so die? <laughs> like, I haven't seen them post. And then I go to their page. And you're like, it's like, and yeah. And they've been posting like goddamn crazy. And I'm like, I haven't seen any of this shit. Yeah. You had a baby? You got married? <laughs> right. Like, no. you didn't invite me to the wedding? Now I gotta unfollow you. I know, your I kid is 10? Yeah, your kid. <laughs> Your kid is Maybe you're a bad friend, Brittany. I, I know, I'm, I'm not a bad friend. Instagram is fucking me up. Like, that's how I stay that's in touch. you're talking about your family, though. Right, right, oh right. Oh, my right. God. Right. Guys. No, but I'm for real. Like, I got cousins who, like, someone so will have a baby, and I won't know, and then I'll go to their page and be like, oh, they had the baby. All right, three years ago. But don't you hate finding out that somebody went through some major life event on Instagram, though? It's bummer. I kind of right. feel a little bit like, like text wait, me. Yeah. you got married? Yeah. Was was my invitation in the DM <laughs> or was it, let me, did I miss? Uh, I know. You know what I mean? That's it, kind of offensive sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you consider someone like a friend and you're like, I thought we were friends. I we were close. By but the way, I, how was your wedding? I didn't have a <laughs> wedding. I know, Dad, you're like, oh, I didn't get invited to that shit. Um, uh, by the way, no one was invited. Yeah, I can imagine. I, I, yeah. We got married in our house. Oh, really? With just the uh, ordained minister and a photographer. Oh. And the, dogs. Oh. the dog was in the wedding. I was about to say, did the dog administer the wedding? That'd the be dog great. was you the minister. You got it ordained. <laughs> yeah, I know. She was, uh, or do- we were ordained. <laughs> or dogged. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we were or ordained. I do. She was or dogged minister. Uh, yeah, she's great. It was great. No, she killed it. No, but the dog. <laughs> That's going to be the new thing. <laughs> No, but like, those are the new videos. Do those videos right now, everybody. Right. Have your or dog, dog and you call him yeah. no, my or dog. This is my or dog minister. 
Uh, you guys are welcome for that one. But no, it was real because like yeah. we kept adding up the money of like, and my husband has a lot of money. I don't. My husband does. I have enough money to be fine. But you he know, had it's kind of like, but you know, it's like we could have had something, but it was like. Who am I doing that for? Yeah. Because that just stresses me out. Like, got to get everyone there. Got to get the bridesmaids. And, like, got to get the fucking food figured out. And there was, like, a million questions. And I just, I don't know. So when you, you never it. had the, the, the big wedding fantasy no, when I you were didn't. young? I didn't because I don't like that kind of attention believe it or not Which for someone who I'm loves about, attention, i'm about to say that sounds shocking crazy because i love attention but not like stressful attention you know what i mean uh, where they're like what you do like you attention want? that's like just dis- disassociated with right. society you're right, just right, like right. hi yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I I can throw- know. <laughs> and then i can throw it over the phone across the room exactly yeah. that's and then you go look at it later oh great a hundred thousand likes <laughs> Oh my god, I'm doing okay. I'm still a member of society. Right, right, right. Um, no, but for real. No, so actually, like, I, I, I can't stand it because this lady's emailing me. How do you like the napkins folded? How uh, do you want the? What kind of food is any? You always have different? been a little bit. I'm just like no, yeah, I yeah. didn't. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Too much. You've always been like a, scary. Like, yeah, that's yeah. why I never got really big into stand up because it's like being there. Right. That's a lot. Then having that instant, like, yeah. you're like, mm. right in front of you. Yeah, it's like I laugh. Like, why are you laughing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, stop talking. Stop looking at me. Yeah, no, I freak out. Anyway, uh, so you know who promised the podcast? I think so. Worst first, <laughs> the worst shit that's ever happened to you. Oh, you're oh, all, oh. Being on this podcast. So I got there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the worst. Um, I'm just talking about it. You're like, wait a minute. By the way, our guest before him was Nicole Byer. Nicole was telling me she's never had a boyfriend. What? She should take her on a date. You get, oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> that's that's the kind of pressure women do. That's perfect. Publicly, like, wow, on you're a po- monster. On my podcast, <laughs> you should take her out. You know, you be- are a monster. I know, I am a monster. I actually am a real human oh monster. I like putting people on the spot. Oh, uh, that's like that. You just did like what parents do. Oh yeah, your, I'm your Jewish grandmother. Your mom and do you that know what, you, like- Eric? Yeah, she's a nice girl. Yeah, she's very nice. And she's he's funny. here. Nathan, come in and say hi to Brittany. Nathan has one eye. <laughs> you're like, yeah. God, mom. Nathan has one eye. I don't care if he owns a house. What do you mean she's never had a boyfriend? That's she crazy. She said she's never had a boyfriend. Why not? I don't know. She's awesome. And she's very cool. Or she, I kind of fell she in has love different... with her here. I did. She's very cool. You know, as you get older, though, your standards change and you realize but the you know shallowness Can goes away. Can I just away. tell you something, too? Is that mm-hmm. looks, one thing I've noticed is like everyone's so judgmental about people, you know, looks and everything. But that, that shit gets been. so old. Yeah, but we've like, all been like that. Don't act like I'm not acting when you like were that. 22. The dude no, that you were, the dudes you, you know had to hook guy, up with, they had to be a certain, you know what I mean? The guy that I dated before my husband was hideous. I know because it, because that because you were looking for something at that point. You I was know? looking for love. I was like, no, I'll but I mean, for love but you were also like looking past the like, oh, yes. you know what? Let me let me can, can you move the abs? And yeah, <laughs> I was looking you move, to be like you know? loved and obsessed, like have someone obsessed with me. And my husband, or my boyfriend before him, was like not good looking at all, like terrible looking. Like people were like, "Oh my god, are you what on are you drugs? Doing? Right. What are you doing?" Like I had people. There's a certain me level that. of ugliness that you can't, you know. Yeah. Gotta, if, if that's a thing, if people are going like, "What are you doing with that person?" and you have to explain people it, all people were time, messaging me. Oh, that well, I mean, but people are monsters. They were like. What are you doing? And I was like, he's really cool and really smart really and really nice. funny. He and really, and then he ended well. up being terrible, but we won't get into that. But anyway. You were terrible? No, he was terrible. Oh. I mean, at the end, we were both terrible, but he was terrible, which made me be terrible, and then that was that. But anyway, so I'm just saying, like, I mean, looking at my husband, my husband's 56, and I'm just thinking, like, you know, we're going to get old, obviously, him faster than me, but, like, mm-hmm. I but society won't care about that. But it's like I know, right? <laughs> I know, but like, but it's like you know, you kind of everybody gets fucking old, yeah. and at the end of the day, you gotta have someone you really vibe with, right? Because right. all the fucking sexy shit, like that, goes away after six months. Like you know, it can go away after somebody opens their mouth too much. For real, it starts like saying things that you go like, "Ooh, I don't agree with that. Yeah. Why isn't this?" You know, and that person's not hot anymore. Yeah, you know, or yeah, whatever. You just don't yeah. have that, or sometimes you just have this sort of like primal connection with someone. Yeah, where that energy when you're around each other, like you feel it like combining yeah but that but that doesn't mean you're compatible that's the right. sucky part right you know i've just i've been in situations like that where i've just been like oh i have this thing but it's like damn but I it's don't, like you you're don't not get connected on another level not connected so that's like if you you find the connect i just think that's something that happens as you get older you just start it's, to like get in tune with that it's hard to find someone who's hot and that you get along with and that's why i married this one because i'm like he's hot and we're like best friends Best of both worlds, like so. Well, lucky. that's a lucky thing. Lucky. You like, know what I mean? 
Knock on wood. Anyway, you got a worse first for me? Go on a bad date or something? Um, yeah, I've gone on many bad dates. Really? Tell me the worst one. Well, I like, I don't know if it was like, it was like, it's just one of these things where like, it, it kind of lends itself to this because like, you know, you, you, this was a few years ago and it's like you, you meet someone and you like have this initial thing that you think you have, mm-hmm. especially in this day and age when you're meeting people online. Oh yeah. You know, so for me, I just, I meet a lot of people online, not even like dating apps, even just like regular, Inst- I think Instagram is the best dating app. Yeah. You know what I mean? People just messaging you. Yeah, you like, just no, message and you're like, hey, are you like, oh, like your pictures and all of a sudden you start talking. But it's like, if you don't get to actually know someone, so, you know, and then like, I don't, I, I am not a big like on the first date we're gonna go to the most fancy restaurant in town. I need right, to like because right. it's like you're like I'm taking this bitch to McDonald's. I'm gonna see how not- she really likes me. Oh my god, I'm dead. The girl <laughs> I took her to McDonald's. I don't know why she sucks. That was her fault. <laughs> it's not like I don't know. And I'm all like, like you want cheese on that? Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> how much is cheese? Does cheese come with it though? No, but I think there's some, I, I think there's something to going to get coffee or going to some like comfortable environment that's like you know you you, you meet there so that person feels comfortable. Right. Because I'm all about nowadays. You got to make sure that the other Especially as a guy, you got to make sure the woman feels comfortable. Right. You know, it's like you're okay. You know, yeah. it's like do you feel safe? Do you feel like? No, but it's it's, it's true feel, though. Do you feel safe locked in my car? I know, but it's like <laughs> I know you're trying to use the handle to get out, and you can't get out. Oh no, but do it's you just feel the safe? lock. It's broken. You know what I mean? <laughs> do you feel safe as I'm breaching through your I press breasts? another button and it tints. You're like, what's going on? Nothing. <laughs> do you feel safe as I cover your mouth with this gas and you're passing out? Just want to make sure you feel safe. Uh, okay, so what happened? Let me have to be a creep. So, no, I'm not. But I did, not. Go, no, I, cool. did, I did go someplace like sort of fancy. Went to Nice Guys. Oh, I love you know? Nice Guys. Yeah. yeah and I, I, liked it, I liked it too. I, first time I ever went. First date. You know, girl. we're sitting we're sitting there and then she sits down and then it's one of those. It's like, you know, so, you know, let me tell you about me. And, blah, 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 blah. and it was just like one of these things where I was like, whoa, I don't agree with anything you're saying. Oh, no. What did she talk about? I mean, just like like just the way she was talking about herself uh, and how she looked at life uh-huh. and like uh, so the horoscopes came up and like. You know this kind of stuff that I was like, oh no, this 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 it's steak bad. is gonna get ruined yeah, by yeah. this. Yeah, and that's you know. So I'm sitting there, and it's just like you know, it's going on and on. And then we, and you know, when you don't, you know, when you fundamentally don't agree with somebody, you're trying to just be nice, but then they mm-hmm. say that thing that just makes you go, that's it. I'm out of here. Are you crazy? And she's you paying know? for herself. <laughs> yeah, girl, we're going Dutch. I can't. You know, and then it was like, and then it was the crazy part. She went to the bathroom, and then like I recognized the hostess was a was a well, we had a mutual friend, uh-huh. you know. And I was like, and I was always talk, telling her friend, "You need to hook me up with your friend." Right, 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 right. You're like, damn, hostess, hot <laughs> as fuck. And I started, and I was like, wait, is that what's up? You yeah. know, it's just like, how's this date you going? I was like, hostess. it's terrible. You're like, save me. <laughs> Poison it. Put Visine in her water. Make Can her you shit. put a roach in my salad? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, Get out of you know, here. Yeah, so it was just. How did you bail on the date? Did you sustain the date? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you just went. I just, but isn't that the worst when you're stuck in it? When the food came, I was like, thank you. Because then it's easy to just like Eat. hear the like, you know you know how other people are having conversations at other tables when you're uh-huh. eating, you don't really hear them? Uh-huh. That's what the end of was that was. Was she hot? Yeah. She was, but it ruined it because she yeah, was Yeah, it, it did, it did. I just, I felt that, it, that's when I first, I started to be like, because I just got back into the dating pool and I was like, you know what? You have to actually be able to like converse about certain things mm-hmm. even if you don't agree or it's it's how you talk about things with people yeah. i think that is like an important thing to have mm-hmm. like you, you could have an easy rapport i don't mind having a, a heated back and forth or right. like a you know what I mean? you know what i mean where you're, you're like you're talking about like oh you know we didn't go to the moon like i think we did you know damn <laughs> talk about <laughs> random ass shit she's but, all yeah so anyway i'm a virgo <laughs> the earth is flat and uh yeah my yeah. hair is i glue it on my head it was like that it was like one of those kind of people that say like you know i'm the kind of person Person, oh. I when I hear that I'm out. I don't get dates. I, I'm the kind of person. No, no, no. You know, you're like, okay, here we go. Like the people that don't believe in things, you no. know, or like somebody that's like, if you're a vegan and you're going like out, out of your way to like, you Make know, someone else be vegan. Yeah, it's like I don't like that kind of stuff. At the same time, though, because I have another bad first date. Oh, tell me. Yeah, so I, I go, I take her to this barbecue restaurant. Uh huh. A nice one. Love barbecue. But it's a nice one. It's not like, you know, Timmy. It's all wood ranch. It's not, it's not yeah. Timmy, Timmy's ribs on the yeah, corner. And, we have to... <laughs> and the cheese falling off, so it just says Emmy's. Yeah, yeah. Emmy's ribs. And, 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 
it's like, oh, we had Emmys. You're like, no. It just flies everywhere. It was nice. We're sitting there. We're, we're having a nice back and forth. I'm trying to be charming as hell. Because, like, th- when, when, you, like when, you, when you're not traditionally handsome, you got to be charming as a motherfucker. Aww, you know what I mean? Don't say that. No, I, don't. don't, don't. See, see, when you have to do that, that's even worse. That's it. <laughs> Where, so I don't, you. where I don't, di- <laughs> where I don't disagree with you, but yeah. I just go, oh, wow, look at this, this, see this, this is what I'm talking about right here. This- You're like, well, this is the worst podcast. Ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about worst. <laughs> yes, yeah. the it, the host insulted me. No, but it's but it's fine. Like, okay. I, when you get to a point where you 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 believe in yourself and you're like you have confidence yeah. in yourself, I always say that I'm like I'm like an Ethiopian restaurant. Okay, oh. not everybody's into Ethiopian food, right? But the restaurant's open. Oh. And I'm waiting for business. Oh. You know what I mean? And some people will love it. And then you're going to come in and, and, and I'm going to take care of you. a specific <laughs> flavor for you, for your flavor. Exactly. So okay. so I'm like, so I know that now right. instead of like, you know, so I just, I, it's just, I just wait. I'm just like, right. okay. And I, I, I got to put myself out there. Hey, what's up? You want to go out? No? Okay, cool. Thank you. What about you? How you doing? Hey, all right. Cool. All right. You don't got to be so mean. What's <laughs> up with you? you know? <laughs> Damn, girl. You got to be a bitch you about it. Me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up with hi. you? Why you mace me? Why you <laughs> You know what I mean? But there's going to be one that's going to be like, hey. And I'm going to be like, ah, You're like, there oh, you are. Oh, she's blind. Never mind. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Blind? I'm, <laughs> I'm like, That's what I'm waiting I'm for. She's where I'm going like this. Okay, this bitch is blind. She's fine as hell, but she can't see. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god she goes to feel your face you pull up what one if, of your hot what if, like, what if like she's turned to the side she's so fine but she only got one arm like this is a stump and there's a moment where you're like damn she is fine <laughs> yo shout like, out. how fine is a stump okay <laughs> shout out to girls with no arms because i know i went to a show recently where wait this, no arms please listen, forget that <laughs> i had a, i went to a show recently where this chick had no leg oh no she had one leg and she was smoking hot that's what I'm saying. It's gorgeous. But there's a moment where you go, actually, that, and oh, look how easy that is. You could just have one leg, nothing's here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Talk about hitting it from the side. <laughs> oh, my. All right. I was thinking in terms of like, she's a little lighter to carry up the stairs romantically. Uh, okay, wait, To so, throw her on the bed? What are, like, what are oh, you? Oh, my God. I'm dead. Okay. What about this po- this b- barbecue date? Okay. So, so you're at the we're barbecue talking. Place. I'm being charming. Yes. She's laughing. Everything's going great. You like her? I like her. Yeah. I, it's cool. We have a, a purport is going on. Yeah. And she's looking at the menu and she says these words. She goes, oh, you, you, you know I'm vegan, right? Oh, my gosh. And you took her to a barbecue place? In my mind, I was like, no, bitch. If I had known you were vegan, I would have taken you to the salad hut. Yeah, or, or I would have taken you to a field. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I would have got some barley and <laughs> some wheat. Oh, my God. You know what God. I mean? I, I'm just uh, give me the benefit of the doubt. She, how did you not know she was vegan? You guys, it didn't come up in conversation. This is what I'm saying. But usually vegans are the first to tell everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They come out like, I'm a Virgo. I'm vegan. Yeah, blah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I have a dog. You know, whatever right, it is. Right. Um, so what happened? You're at the barbecue place. No, All she can eat is coleslaw and corn. But I'm looking at her. And I'm Now I'm just like... I'm, I'm, I, I'm so like, this is, you're crazy. You can't date a vegan? No, no, it's not the point. Uh oh. I can't date somebody that doesn't realize how dumb this situation is. Oh, to let you go there yes. and sit down. Yes. When we're walking in, it should have been a thing. When there's like, a pig roasting behind the counter. Right, right, yeah, right, right. yeah. You know, just give yeah. me one of these. Like, I am vegan. Can we go this to the one. tender greens next door? This would yeah. be great, but I, I'm sure they have good sides. Can we just, or say some shit like, hey, can we look at the sides and let me yeah. see if, uh, you know, I like, you know, it's like, I know women. I believe women have a trouble sometimes being straightforward with men because they think that our reaction is going to be so. Oh, like, she's high maintenance, or, or, she's or whatever like, that yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying that I'm just telling you, like, I think it's better to be like, I don't like this or that. Be straight up. Right. I, I think it's better to don't don't be a coward about just because right. you don't want to deal with this other person's feelings and right. emotions. Right. And if a guy turns out to be an asshole, well, you then know fuck what? Fuck him. He's not the guy exactly. for you. Exactly. Yeah. And you found out like right up top. You know, it's like when you're like, like I like when somebody says, like, say you're talking to somebody on, online, or you uh-huh. don't even do this anymore, but if like you're saying, I like when a girl will say some stuff like right away, like, like I say, hey, well, what are you, whatever, and then she's like, well, norm- normally my boyfriend and I, like, right away, right, hit me with the like, right, you know, so right. that's like, oh, oh, oh. You're like, okay, you know? <laughs> okay, see ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You married? You know, okay. Oh, good, oh yeah. right. Like, right. hit me with that. I can't stand finding, I can't stand like, Talking with somebody for a, a, a whole period of time, and then all and of then a sudden they they're like, "Oh, a- my seven husbands! You're all what? Yeah, husbands! Oh, I gotta go because my husband is about to pick me up. Like, what are you talking oh, about? Oh my god! You didn't know, but that's just uh, people love attention. Have you had that happen? No, oh, I, I've I've had like just kind of like where I'm like, well, hold on, now I'm the creep, I'm the crazy person, 
And don't act like you didn't know what was going on. And there's no pictures of him on her profile. It's just all selfies. Oh, my. That's Those girls are the worst. Yeah, well, that's like any Instagram model that's dating. They don't have the, the boyfriend on there. Or the kid. You know what I mean? Because, cause, But I get it. That's part of the business. Yeah. It's business to be single and hot, and you got to have all your sexy pictures online. And, and, you know, so I get it. So then it's like, but it's okay to say to the guys that are like, you know, in the DMs acting crazy, it's yeah. okay to be like, hey, thank you for, I love the support. And yeah. I, you know, I know, I know, uh, you know, but it's like, I actually have a boyfriend. I love the and, support. And I'm pretty Thanks loyal. Thanks so much for the support. But that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you like my tits. means yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. I hope you're enjoying them. And, so what you know, did you do with the vegan girl? I just, it was just like one of these things where I was like, I just was like, I'm ordering barbecue. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> you ordered an entire pig and yeah, ate yeah. it in front I said, of her. You, no, I, I had them kill the pig You're on like, the can table. You bring it alive? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. And I held it down. Kill it, bitch. Oh, no. <laughs> it <was> all, <laughs> no, but it was just like, oh, she no. ordered what you want. But I just thought to myself, like, this is going to be one of these things where I'm going to find out this. Wow. This, you're, you're one of those? <laughs> Nina's licking my face. I'm a furry. Uh, no, oh. I love her. <laughs> little, are you like little guys? <laughs> Hell no. No, she's funny. She's like my baby, so she gives me kisses. Yeah. No, I get it. You're you're <laughs> You're like you're a you're, freak. You're a dog person. I am. <laughs> dog people like have this thing where they just like, you know. We just let our dogs like fucking yeah. do whatever they want. Okay. As she comes so, over so me, yeah. That's the worst of dates you've had. You had a girl end up being vegan and yeah. then you had another girl that it, talked about herself too much. Yes. You never had way. any crazy shit happen where a girl No, like, I never had like I really? wish I had like crazy, crazy experiences like that. I I guess my worst if to stick with the theme, I guess yeah. my my worst first will always be like when I first started doing comedy and the places that I had to go. Oh my god, okay, wait, okay. We're going to take a quick break, guys. That's going to get in so insane. Um, please listen to my ads. If you don't, you can fast forward through them. But please don't because I make them funny. I do them funny for you guys. So we're going to be back <laughs> with Eric Griffin. You're gonna t- he's going to talk about some more of his worst first. Stay tuned. My ads are so funny. Are you fab? Are you fit? Are you fun? Well, if you're all three of those things, then I suggest that you sign up for fab, fit, Fun. Okay, honestly, I know I'm reading this like a total dork, but I've actually I've actually gotten Fab Fit Fun boxes for a while and I am obsessed with them. Not only because I just love getting shit in the mail because I'm I just whenever there's a package for me, I'm excited. I mean sometimes I'll just order random stuff just so I can act surprised like someone cares about me and is sending me something. But Fab Fit Fun has really nailed this because it's a okay, it's a great gift. If you have a girlfriend, you want to get her something that's really awesome. It's quarterly. It comes out four times a year and it comes out during each of the dis- different seasons. So you have winter, spring, summer, and fall. And each box is specifically curated with items for that season. And the items are over $400 worth of items that you're getting for $49.99. $49.99. That's $50 for over $400 worth of items. And you get full-size products. I mean, sometimes there's scarves, sweaters, gloves. I mean, I've gotten pretty much everything in these things. Sunglasses, Um, You know, and I'm talking about products that you love, like very, very popular products that are out right now. And I just think it's a really fun thing to get. I mean, whether you have a daughter in college or a girlfriend or somebody you want to surprise this with, or hey, you just like getting surprises in the mail like me and you order this for yourself. Um, It's really awesome. So if you head over to www.fabfitfun.com and enter the promo code FIRSTS, that's F-I-R-S-T-S, you get $10 off your already cheap $49.99 order. And remember, this is only four times a year. So four times a year, what? You're spending $100 to get four times uh, four times $400, uh, $1,600 worth of products, guys. So that's pretty freaking rad. And honestly, um, I think it's pretty dope. So I'm sorry, it's $200. Two, it's over the year, it's $200 to get $1,600 worth of dope products and things. And, you know, the thing about it is so much comes into this box. It's a lot of things. It's filled to the brim. You, you know, it's not one of those boxes that you order and you open it up and you're like, oh, this is mostly tissue paper. No, this box is stuffed and it's heavy. And I, I love them. I mean, I've, I've gotten them for a while now. I just think they're really fun and there's all kinds of new stuff in there too, stuff I, that you haven't heard of and new products, and I will continue to buy a lot of the products in there because it's so rad. So if you're interested in treating a girlfriend, a wife, or a daughter, or yourself 
head over to fabfitfun.com, enter the promo code firsts, F-I-R-S-T-S, and get $10 off already, such a deal, of your $49.99 box that comes out four times a year. It's like Christmas, four times a year. Can't beat that. Do you love bringing your ice cold drinks with you everywhere? Because I sure do. And, you know, with the environmental issues that we're having, using plastic bottles is not the way to go, okay? Because if you just keep buying these water bottles, you just keep creating more plastic in the environment, more trash. We're just killing ourselves, and it's bad. So what we're all trying to do here is reusable, guys. Reusable is the answer, and this company, Brewmate, makes the coolest reusable to-go containers you will ever, 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 ever get. They come in pint glasses. They come in champagne glasses. They come in uh, basically everything. You can take beer with you. You can take wine with you. You know, everything you could ever want for your drinks to stay cool. They have these sippable lids. They come in all kinds of different designs. I just ordered the marble design because I'm trying to be fancy in my life. And uh, they're awesome. They make these flasks, you know, for girls that are hardcore or guys that are hardcore. They make ones for girls that have these sparkly little caps on them, you know, if you're a hardcore girl who likes to carry a flask with her. It's basically the coolest company ever. Anyway, I love it because this way I can put my waters and my juices in these containers and they stay cold and they fit in my cup holder and it's just really convenient with this non-spill lid. And so basically what you can do is uh, you can head over to Brewmate, that is B-R-U-M-A-T-E dot com and enter the code WORST, W-O-R-S-T, for this podcast and get 15% off of your order, okay? So if you're, like, you know, headed to a, a football game or you're going somewhere, maybe the movies, you just want to bring your own little drink with you, these are shatterproof. They come in a million different designs. They are basically you can put anything in them, you know, beer, wine, alcohol, water, who cares? I don't know, anything liquid that you want to put in it. And they're cool looking, and they come in all different shapes, you know, for whatever the occasion is, a small little wine glass, or you need like a pint glass, or you need a flask, whatever. It's just so many options, and I'm so excited. I got mine, and uh, we love them. We love them, and we're helping save the environment, so that's what I love about that is it's reusable, dishwasher safe, you wash it, you reuse it, and you're helping save the world. So who doesn't want to do that? and also not have warm alcohol. It's the best. Head to Brewmate, B-R-U-M-A-T-E dot com. Enter the promo code WORST, W-O-R-S-T, for 15% off of your order. Enjoy. Hello, Worst Firsters, and thank you for listening to the podcast. Do you take vitamins? Do you like vitamins? Do you believe in vitamins? Do you not believe in vitamins? Okay, so I was kind of on the fence about vitamins. I wasn't really sure, you know, do they work? Do they not work? Are they really helping me? Are they, you know, are they helping me? I can't tell, you know. Sometimes you take these vitamins and you're like, well, did it do anything? Because I don't feel any different. But then I heard of this company, Care Of, okay? The coolest thing about Care Of is they have this online quiz that you take, and it asks you questions about your diet, what your health goals are, your lifestyle choices. It takes five minutes. And then with the results of your quiz, they give you a bunch of suggested vitamins that you should be taking that will help improve your life. And so I was kind of skeptical. I took the quiz. I got my vitamins, and I got them in the mail, and they're really cool. They come in this box that everything is in a packet of what vitamins you have to take every day everything's organized you throw the packet away when you're done it's all you know not a bunch of bulky bottles just these nice slim little packets and I started taking them and I started feeling better and I was really surprised by that because I never really believed in vitamins and things like that and I've always had a lot of anxiety and so uh, they gave me some ashwagandha root and all kinds of other things that really help with that and so that's how I kind of discovered new vitamins that were really good for me And so I thought, you know what, this would be something really great to share with my followers. And so if you guys are interested in getting on this program, you can check out Care Of. You go to TakeCareOf.com and then you enter the promo code WORSTFIRSTS, that's W-O-R-S-T-F-I-R-S-T-S, and get 25% off your first care of order. So that's again, takecareof.com and enter the promo code worst first, the name of this podcast, and get 25% off. And I'm telling you, this is so cool because it's like you're not carrying around a bunch of different vitamins. You're carrying around these cute little um, compositable packs. And it's really great that they are just like compost packs. You're not hurting the environment. And it's everything you need in one little packet. You throw it away 
at the end of the day. You don't have to have a pill container, you know, like grandma, even though that's okay. Um, and then the online quiz was really cool. It, you, you know, it really helps you figure out where you want to be. And, um, you know, I think it's really great that they've come up with this way to, to really help people and seem like they really care instead of you just kind of going to the, the grocery store and going, oh, I guess, I guess vitamin C is good for you. Vitamin E is good for you. I, I guess I'll just take all these vitamins. Who knows? Let's see what happens. Maybe I'll grow a new head. Um, anyway, so I thought it was really cool and I really have been enjoying it. So if you're interested, you can go to takecareof.com, enter the promo code worse first and get 25% off your first care of order. Who loves beauty? Who loves looking good? Who loves skincare? This girl does. Um, this is why I don't get paid to do jingles, guys. Okay, come on. Please don't leave the podcast because of that. That was terrible. Anyway, um, I love all that stuff. And there's this company called Spotlight who reached out to me and were like, hey, we have this company, this website called Spotlight.com, S-P-O-T-L-Y-T-E.com that has a bunch of aesthetic specialists on there that are available to chat 24 hours a day. You can go on there and ask them any questions about anything you want to get done to your body, to your face, any kind of procedures. And I just thought that was the coolest thing ever because I remember before I started getting injections, I was like, who do I talk to about this? Who do I know who's good? How do I book an appointment? How do I get this together? How does this work? I was so confused and I had all these girlfriends that were getting stuff done, but they were all hush hush about it. And so this is such a cool opportunity for anyone that wants to improve upon their appearance. They're feeling kind of yucky, looking kind of tired, whatever, thinking, oh, I might want to get a little filler or something like that here or there. You can go to spotlight.com, S-P-O-T-L-Y-T-E.com slash worst and chat with these aesthetic specialists and ask them any questions you want. And if you decide to get something done, they can help you find a provider in your area. And there's no pressure. You don't have to get anything done. You don't have to pay anything, obviously, unless you decide to go forth with a procedure or not. But they're just there to answer all your questions and be there for you. How wonderful is that? It's like a friend on the internet that you don't even know, but they help you. It's cool. And you can talk to them about all the, you know, cliche things that people don't want to talk about you know girls are always so private or they don't want people to steal their doctor or whatever it's so stupid out here I tell everyone everything I'm like oh I don't care I go to this person who cares um but you know some girls are really weird about that stuff so now you have a place where you can go and ask all kinds of medical aesthetic questions that you have of anything you've ever wanted to get done so again that's spotlight.com s-p-o-t-l-y-t-e dot com slash worst and uh ask away enjoy (laughs) <laughs> okay, we're back. I hope you guys liked my ads. Oh, was that it? Oh. Yeah, it's not a real break. It's not real life. Oh, um, right. It's not real life here in Hollywood, okay? I know. <laughs> we I was didn't like, do it. oh, do I get to get some water? What do I No, you get nothing. Do you have to pee? No, Take no, a no. shit? What do you have no, to do? No. Okay. Um, guys, we're here with uh, Eric Griffin, who actually has a podcast, too, called Riffin' with Griffin. Riffin' with Griffin. And make sure to follow that. It's on, um, where is YouTube, it? YouTube, iTunes, iTunes, Spotify, and you film everything. yours, too. Yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do uh, audio and video, Good, so you can check same. me out on, like, Spotify and all that, all those places. Right, right. Google, everywhere. I love it. Yeah. You're just killing it. You're everywhere. Well, I mean, it's like, that's the thing we have to do now, so it's like... You know, I'm just behind the curve again. So no, I thought, you know, it's like, you have, no, I'm saying you have to have a Twitter. You have to have an Instagram. Right? You Everything. have to have those Everything. two. So now as a comic, you also have to have a podcast because it's a way to get your personality out and for people to like, you know, look. Hey, I've only done like 20 episodes so I'm far. I'm on episode 40. You know what I mean? Yeah, and you like, already have like, you know, 75 million followers. It's been great. Yeah, I'm look so at you. grateful. <laughs> like, honestly, I am like so grateful. I get it. But people, it's so fun. Because the people that liked you already, yeah. the people that liked you, you know, for what you were doing before, yeah. this is an extension of that. And I mean, even the people that hate you, they're like, I yeah, want to listen to this bitch and fucking about. hate yeah, yeah. <laughs> this motherfucking big dumb oh, bitch. Oh my God. Yeah. The, the trolls, man. The trolls are my favorite. Oh, God. They're like they're they're in it. Yeah, they really they're in are. it even more than the people that love you. Yeah, they're like uh uh-uh. uh. And her, then they go to and then they go to then they up. go to Reddit. You know, oh my that's God. where like that's like, Reddit is so scary. But I respect Reddit trolls. I was saying this on my other this other podcast. Yeah. Reddit trolls because you have to act, Reddit trolls is like a biker bar. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like you can't just go into a biker bar. Right. You can't just walk in looking normal. People like, like the whole place stops and looks at you like, "What are you doing in here?" Right. You know that's what Reddit is like. If you don't, if you're not a Reddit person, don't you be don't in belong. there. You don't belong in They'll there. They'll tear you apart. Yeah, they will tear you. I don't tried, come. Don't come weak in Reddit. There was like a Reddit post about like my boobs or something one time or a chain or something, and I like went in there and tried to be like an anonymous account and been like, "I think she seems nice," and everyone was like, <laughs> "The fuck out of here, here. you yeah. fucking white knight, you fucking idiot, fuck you." 
you. I hope you fucking choke on your own dick and die. I was like, uh, first of all, don't have a dick. Uh, but yeah, thanks anyway. Thanks for literally ripped me the fuck apart. I was like, yeah. okay, anyway, uh, never doing that again. But you were saying, so you have worse first about some of the worst places yes, you've had to like go when to when do I, comedy. When I first started doing comedy, it was like I had to go to these triple runs. This guy named David Triple, and it was in Montana. So it was like I had to go to like, yeah. So the I had to old go- Elk Lodge. Yeah. <laughs> There's like oh. 400 dead animals on the wall. It was like my our, my very first uh, stand-up, like on, on the road, out of California stand-up, mm-hmm. you know. As I, first I had to fly to Utah uh-huh. to meet with the headliner, mm-hmm. okay. And then he had a suspended license. So I had to drive, you know, so we drove from Utah to uh, Montana, Helena, Montana, the capital of Montana. Jesus. And, you know, we pull in after like a eight hour drive, whatever it was. And it's all welcome to Helena. Her head's off. It's like it's a, snowing. It's like oh, I've never. No. And first of all, I've never driven in snow. So I'm oh. just I'm just out here doing it. You know what yeah. I mean? But I was like at that time, I was so like, oh, my God, I'm on the road. Yeah, We're road doing dog. It. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. a road dog. He had a dog with him. Aww. You know what I mean? Had this boxer, cute oh, dog. Cute. You know, but it was like the boxers have anxiety, so it was like oh. a whole thing the whole trip. Where they do, I didn't yeah, know dog that. boxers boxers have serious like separation anxiety. So they, oh, wow. that dog did, for, you know. So if I was a dog, I'd probably be a boxer. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you would just be like, Ooh, yeah. And you know how you like to push? You do this thing where you push people. I push people when I laugh. I'm Elaine from Seinfeld. Yeah, I hit people. the worst. Though. If they make me laugh, the worst. Yeah, you're like, just like don't I'm bring like, me to a party. <laughs> don't introduce me to your new friends that are yeah. funny. Like they will hate me because I will punch them and they'll be like, "Why'd your friend hit me? I just met her." Yeah. So we pull in them, Helena. Okay. Uh, and the show's at the hotel. It's like a Holiday Inn. Oh, boy. So there's a bar in the Holiday Inn. A Holiday Inn. Inn show? Yeah, so I get to the, you know, the hotel's relatively nice. For right. You know, it's Helena. It's snowing. It's a beautiful winter wonderland, I'm thinking. Right. You know, I get down to the bar area where the show is just to look. I go, okay, nice looking bar. I guess I see where they're going to do the show. Uh-huh. Showtime comes. I come down. There's like nine people in the crowd. Right. You know? <laughs> Because I'm thinking, oh, man, we're going to sell this it's gonna be bitch a fucking, out. Yeah, we're going to sell the shit out yeah, of this Holiday Inn. Everybody in Helena is coming to the show. These seven rooms are going to be filled. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. I love it. It's like nine people, you know, and the guy's like, the, the barkeep looks over at us. He's like, you guys ready? You know? And I was like, I, okay, I, are you not going to wait for more? People? Are more people coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he was like, this is a good crowd. Is there a bunch of people <laughs> in the bathroom? Yeah, what's going on? This is the best crowd we've had in a while. You know, <laughs> it's that kind of thing. Oh. You know, then he goes on stage and he's like, all right, everybody, uh, just want a reminder that the sign up for the dart tournament is, you know, this th- it's Thursday. Don't forget karaoke's on whatever. Uh, and then tonight, well, you know, it's comedy night with these uh, one of these guys is from L.A., I think, right? You from L.A.? Oh, my God. <laughs> Shouting off the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're standing LA? right there. Yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> like, uh, Eric, right? It's good. Yeah. So, all right. Give it up for Peter. I said it was Eric. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, so I go on, and it was like, it was such a weird experience because I, I was like, I go on stage and I look at, the, at this crowd who's just kind of like, you know, who, who are you? Right. And then I look the way I look, so they're just like, you know, you're not one of us. You know, yeah, that kind of look. what's up with those weird glasses? <laughs> it's not, who are you, Malcolm X? Like, you know, so then I just was like, but I had to, but that was like, it was the worst, but it was also the best. Because I was like, oh, this is what it really is like. Yeah. And then we just proceeded to go to shit town from shit town and to shit horrible. town. And it was just like horrible Nobody experiences. Laughed. Yeah. Like I remember like. Someone was just like <coughs> in the back. Driving. I know. A, take a out guy sweeping. Like, you guys done? <laughs> He's sweeping the stage while we you're almost, on it. We almost died twice. What? Okay. So I, I'll never forget this. So like we're getting off the freeway on, on off ramp. Okay. Mm-hmm. In Montana, late at night, there's snow. It's, it's ice. Okay, so this on ramp, off ramp goes to like a highway. Uh-huh. Okay, uh-huh. I hit the off ramp, lock the brakes uh, on ice, and we start to just uh, yeah, and, plan. and yeah. we're sliding towards Ooh. this Ooh. highway. Yeah. yeah, oh, a highway. This oh. highway, right? Oh, no. Stop in the middle of the highway, and I'm like, oh fuck! I back up. Right after I back up, the biggest semi truck you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> Like I was like, we all, we would have died, you know, we would have died, and you I was like, kill. yeah, and I was like, yeah. oh my god, you know, uh, that's and scary, that, and it, and it happened. To, so then this guy, this this comedian, he was like, you know, he's this white guy, and like, he 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 likes to argue about. He's at the time he liked to argue about race stuff. Uh-huh. You know, like right now, he'd be one of these guys that might be like, you know. 
you know, you know, Trump's got the economy looking good. You know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. you know what I mean? Like, like just find the good things. And so, trying to trigger people. yeah, so we were just, <laughs> and it was like one of those type of arguments where it was like people, it was like at the time it was like, well, you know, quarterbacks need to be white because they're smarter. And oh like, my you know, God. <laughs> it was like that. So we're having this great back wow. and forth. We're driving in the middle of this, you know, late at night and we're going, I'm in this car. It's packed with all this stuff. Cause you know, Some boxers all, <laughs> yeah, they, they get the dogs, but you know, yeah, and I'm yeah. just like, boom, we're back and forth. And then something, I hit like a thing and the car turned it's sideways. All person, you're all hit a thing. No, <laughs> it, I don't know what happened, but the car started to slide this way. We started to slide, and it was like right at that moment where we're about to boom, and then the car's going to tumble like this, right? But it was, and then I don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe it was all my years of watching Dukes at Hazard. Yeah. You know? Oh, my God. What did but you I was do? like, you know, the other yeah, yeah. hit the brake, hit the gas. And then yeah. it was like, got us back on track. You're right. And then I, right away, I was like, you crazy. You don't know. You know? <laughs> Jesus. And I was like, and it wasn't until like after we went a little while that he was like, like, you know. Yeah, that and, was intense. He was like, man, we almost, you know, that was good driving, what man. What kind of car was this? I don't, I don't even remember. Bald ass tires. Yeah, but it wasn't <laughs> like, yeah, it wasn't a good car. Right, right, you know, right, you know right. I mean? And he had a suspended fucking license. Geo Metro with like a <laughs> yeah. fucking window hanging off. Oh, so it was like, and it was like experience after experience like that on that trip. Is that the only time you've ever almost died? Um, yes, that Have I you ever can gotten, remember. Like really sick, where you almost died. I actually I went to Costa Rica and I got food poisoning and and I thought I was gonna die because it was just like the it, worst. It was that was the worst. It was the first trip I'd went on with my uh, girlfriend oh, at the time. No. You know, and it was just like and it was like a new relationship. So like it, that you know, I, she didn't know how to respond. I didn't know how to you know like. I just was like, I'm sick. I just made some joke that she didn't appreciate. So I was like, hey, you know, I'm not feeling well. And she was like, I don't care. You know, like that oh, kind of thing. No. And then it was like, I was like, oh, then I was like, oh, shit. Then I, then it was like, it was coming out of everywhere. You know what oh, I mean? No. You know, just, what do you do? You just, you have to like release it all. You can't hold it in. But how do you get better? You just have to get it all out. You know, I just, uh -huh. I just, that's what I did. And but you, how long did it last? It took, it took, it was like two days on the, th and we were, this was Christmas too. We went for Christmas. Oh, no. And it was like the third day that I finally was like, uh, it was, that was Christmas day too. We, we had this dinner on the beach and it was like beautiful. Mm -hmm. But I was still kind of like, uh, uh, we ended up salvaging a trip, but it was like, damn, getting food poisoning on vacation is the worst. The worst. Did you know what you ate that caused it? I don't know. But she didn't You're get just sick. out there. That's the second. Actually, that's the second. Uh, you know what? Another time I thought I was going to die with food poisoning because I was in Syria, of all places. What the fool? No fucking wonder. Like, I was in Costa Rica. We were eating butterflies. <laughs> I got very, very I had some sick. monkey shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They fed us a. Uh... This time we were, in, I was in Syria. I was doing like a. It was the uh, one of the the first comedy shows ever in Syria. This was before, this was like almost 10 years ago now, mm -hmm. you know? And, it, you know, it was a beautiful city, actually. Um, what's the capital of Syria? Um, Damascus. Is it Damascus? No, is that? I don't fucking know. I, know I barely either. know what the fucking capital of California is. <laughs> <Which> <laughs> Get is... me out of here. I'm retarded. Which is the capital of California? Yeah, Hollywood. <laughs> no, Ooh, isn't it like, like Sacramento? Oh, Sacramento. That's what I was gonna say. Sacramento. Damn. I don't know, right? I don't even know where I am right now. Like I, I get pretty it. much, it's been a tough life. Okay, so, so I and we went to this like um, special, like this some weird some prince's house. It wasn't even that. No, actually, it was like on the side of a mountain. Like it, 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 the, the, this like fort that was carved into the mountain, and this guy that was like you know showing us around was kind of like it was one of these things where you you did you couldn't know his name oh, you know what shit. i mean it was like kind of you know you follow the masked guy to yeah, the yeah yeah so yeah. so they had like at the time i wasn't even thinking like oh this is where they're going to kill the americans right yeah, but no yeah, yeah. and it, we had just like barbecue and all this food up there and it's just it's just one of these things where like it's like when you go to a house party i don't trust motherfuckers food at a no, house party hell no. you know what i mean were you at a house party but it was it was equivalent to that because okay. it was like you know there was no restaurant around it they, you know they just brought the food up here and barbecued it like i don't know if they cleaned it i don't know if they you know so i ate some food and i remember i'll, I'll forget it i i was with I, i'm walking down the street because we're going to go to a thing yeah okay yeah. and i was like i i test fired a fart <laughs> I and the shit just blew back. Was, it, yeah. killed, it, it blew was, out your ass and killed a kid behind you. I wasn't and feeling I, well. I was like, is this a... And I was like, oh oops. Hey, guys, I'm not going. All right? So I went Who back to my... Who were you with? Andrew Dolcerukas and Ahmed Ahmed. You okay, know? yeah. Did he get sick? 
No, they they didn't get sick. You know what I mean. So it's something I must have had something specific. You uh-huh, know, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm back. In, I'm in the, all night in the room, just Stop. just like throwing wow. up. Yeah, because when you have food poisoning, you re- you really think like this is it. This is it. This yeah. is it. Because I have nothing die. left in me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's gonna be like a. How organ. do you live through it? You just I don't even know. You when get I look Gatorade? back on it. Yeah, you have to drink a lot of water Did you? and just keep you know, and that keeps coming out too mm-hmm. until you just feel okay. It's just a weird it's thing. It's kind of crazy that But you, you hear about now, you hear about those people that just died on vacation in like one of these like, you know, not not uh, Costa Rica, but someplace oh, like that. Oh, I heard about that. the drink, a drink, from, the, drink from, it, from the mini bar. Oh, whatever they're drinking. Like seven up and then they d- just die. Yeah, they're just like, they're sick for two days and they're like, I don't know if this is right. Uh, you know, I guess, and what is the limit? And poisoned them. Yeah. That's but this happened a couple of times. I know. It was like a couple and then <sighs> it was a lady. You, you're at some fancy resort where you think everything's, everything's okay. Everything's safe. I know, and it was a nice resort. That's yeah. what's scary. I don't. I bring my own shit a lot. Like I'll bring my own snacks. I'll bring my own like little gator. Everywhere. Like I, not everywhere, but I am paranoid. Yeah. Plus, because I, I'm always freaking out. I hate traveling. It freaks me out because I'm just like, I need a hospital. Like, what? <laughs> like I need a normal hospital where people speak English. Like I'm very like. Yeah, I know that's a weird thing. I can't. Like, I totally get it. that too. I'm like, I, imagine really being sick and then like yeah. having to like. Talk to a translator who's talking to the doctor. Like, I can't even believe you were in Syria and you were having this happen. Like, did, you I didn't even think at the time, like, maybe I should go to the hospital. But I thought that might have made it worse. But I think that I felt like this was one of those, like, oh, I feel my body saying, we just need to get this shit out. Really? Yeah. You didn't think you were actually Yeah, die. I didn't think it was like. But you were like, I just don't. When really I look back it. on it, I know that feeling of, like, oh, they're just trying to get this out. You're sweating and, like, yeah. fucking, oh, that's the worst. But, and, but actually, to tie that in with comedy. The worst, worst, worst feeling I've ever had mm-hmm. was I was in Grand Rapids, Michigan uh-huh. at this comedy club. It's, and then I'm sitting in this like weird hotel that's like way far away because they weren't paying the bills of the hotel. You know, whatever was going on with this club. Right. They, so I'm being sequestered like out of town at this bullshit Damn. hotel. With They're this like, o- you're going to stay at Uncle Timmy's. Who's Uncle Timmy? Yeah. It's just like some guy's house. Yeah. But oh, when you stay at a place that the name is Hotel. Oh, my I gosh. Can't. Yeah, it's just they couldn't even get it a name. It's just fucking Hotel Motel. It's just Motel yeah. or Hotel. Yeah. I'm out. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, so I'm out, and there's only a there's a Bob Evans in the parking lot. Okay? That's like a Denny's type. Right, of, right. That's that it. Is. There's nothing yeah, else yeah. around. Yeah. I'm in my room. And I have that food poisoning feeling no. where you get the chills. Yeah, the cold shivers. You shiver. So I'm butt ass. I'm butt ass naked yeah. in my in my hotel room uh-huh. under the cover, shivering. It's dark, and I'm thinking to myself, "This is how I'm going to die." No. Like on some shit road gig, <laughs> oh, no. where housekeeping's gonna find me. We found him in motel. Right, <laughs> which How- one? House- no, just motel. <laughs> just motel. H- housekeeping's gonna find me and just kind of be like, uh, <laughs> we don't even know who he is. Housekeeping just leaves you there. They're all. It's gonna be like Handmaid's Tale. Where they're gonna like wrap yeah. me up and burn me. <laughs> Just yeah. another Thursday at the hotel. Yeah, so, and I just, I remember just being, like, sick like that, thinking to myself, oh, I, what am I going to do? That's the moment, even as a guy, when you're on the road by yourself. That's where you have scary. You have moments of, like, well, I'm literally in some town. By myself. All by myself. No, like, There's no there's friends safety. around. Yeah, there's no, there's no security Who here for me. Who do I call me. for help? Who do I call for help? What do I do? It's just, like, a weird, imagine, imagine the days of doing comedy when there was no cell phone. Like, what were people doing, you know? Dude, I can't even imagine it. I remember the same triple run. I only did triple runs for a couple of years, and then it's just like, I just outgrew it. And What's even a triple the, run? The guy, Dave Triple in Montana. Oh, triple, okay. I was, and I remember this one time, he called me specifically. He said, hey, Erica, there's this female comic, and I want she wants to do the run, but she's scared to go by herself, like, with someone she doesn't really know. Mm-hmm. I think you guys have met a couple times, mm-hmm. but I, I, you know... I'm the trustworthy one that, you know, mm-hmm. and I thought about it while I was with her. I was like, oh, yeah, this is a nightmare mm-hmm. because, like, imagine you're a woman out in Montana. Mm-hmm. You pull up to some motel, Mm-mm. you know. The, 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 no, the, hell no. The weirdo. And then, like. Enjoy the, your stay. I know the, and then the people at the show, they know where you're staying. Yeah. You know. I thought she was funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to go over there, Jeb? Yeah. Go over here. <laughs> Let's go find her. The guy's always named Jeb. And then like, and then <laughs> I can- yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna go give her. I'm gonna show her my one-eyed snake. And they're knocking on your door. <laughs> hey, it's that's me. That's outside. It's me. It's it's Jeb and Pete. Remember me from the third row? We like, thought she was funny. I want to show you something funny in my pants. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm traveling with her, and I realized it was like, oh, and I was like, oh, this isn't fun. Then it's not fun for me either. Like, what, now I'm responsible to be Because she was miserable. 
I, it's just that she was miserable. But it she just felt was like, scared. yeah, I could tell that it was like uneasy, you know. But she was feeling oh, like I, I think I made her at ease. Mm-hmm. So then I thought to myself, oh, so I gotta be the dad Your right dad. now. Yeah, I'm like, like I, I can't just be like, yo, I'm out, I'll be back. No, you know, no, I gotta that be like, polo and those glasses. <laughs> you're the fucking dad, daddy. I thought I was sitting here with my dad for a second. I wanted to give this you a bitch, hug. Man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I love him. Daddy. Uh, no, but you know what? You got to be a rock star to get attention from her. <laughs> for real. These days, for real, that's all I look at now. Um, just oh, my, yeah. just that, my husband. Is that, I was about to say, are you like looking at like no, Mick Jagger? No. <laughs> no, but he still got it. Keith Richards. You're looking at all these people now like, hmm, no, let Keith me see Richards, what they got going Keith on. Keith Richards is pretty beat up, but you know. Are they all beat up? It's uh, sad, but you know, they yeah. lives hard. I know. So, so they had they had a hard time. Oh, they've lived from like seventy four to like ninety two. Dude, they've done like every drug <laughs> yeah. you've ever imagined. They fucked. Does your husband even remember you? Like, <laughs> I know. Where I come home, he's like, "Who's this?" I'm like, "It's me, honey. Give me this." Yeah, you, yeah. You yeah. have to have that ceremony every other I day. I know, right? <laughs> it's like dating someone new all the time because he's like, "Who? Is, who are you again?" No, he does. He totally remembers me. Actually, it's so funny. He doesn't do any drugs. People are like, "Oh, is he like a big drug addict?" I'm like, no, no, at this point now, not at fifty six. No, he's totally like normal. That's like, he was like, you know, he was like, I need to get married. Yeah. He went on he his actually, phone. He was like, yeah. her. I want her. Right? I know, right? On Raya, he picked me out. It's like 90 Day yeah. Fiance. Yeah, um, I want her. Yeah. No, oh, it's Raya. actually so Raya. How intimidating funny. is Raya? It's I, the best. Oh. No? You hate I saw, her? I saw Paris Jackson on Raya. She's cute. I know, but. I know. What? Michael Jackson's daughter. <laughs> I swiped. I was like, okay, let me see. <laughs> Just fucking never got that fucking <laughs> never got that acceptance. Imagine. Back. And then that's ho- hopefully she's a workaholics fan too. So she's not like, because that's just a funny thing to say. Like, <laughs> check out Montez trying to <laughs> look at Montez trying, trying to, to smash. In. Yeah. Oh my god. I take my shots. you I'm just trying to go to Neverland Ranch. I ain't trying to fuck you. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'll t- can I give you one last really bad? You can the do worst. Whatever you want. We can be here as long. as Okay. You want. Well, here's a really bad worst, and okay. this is like this is on me. Okay. okay. Is your fault. This is my fault. Okay. I'm ta- I've, I talk, I've talked about it on my podcast, but I think that you have a lot of female. Yeah. You know, so I was like, I want to just put this out there. For sure. Okay. Um, You're all, I raped a girl. No, <laughs> oh, no. Cut. Cut. Like, and the I was podcast. kidding. You know, the cops kept giving me. And the podcast, no. yeah. So I'm on, you know, you know, you're know, you on Tinder, right? And then like, a lot of times people have like, oh, here's my Instagram. Yeah. Here's my, you know. Yeah. So this one girl, she's young, 20, yeah, yeah. 19, whatever it was. You know yeah. what I mean? Of age. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she's like, if you like my art, you know, you know, like, you know, check out my art on Instagram. Tinder? Yeah, yeah, but go to my Instagram if you look for my, for my art. art. Yeah. yeah. So I go. It's all nipples. She's yeah. like, I'm <laughs> no, a no, nipple artist. Actually, pretty dope artist. Oh, great. Okay. Like, I was like, so I, I went into the DMs. Paintings? Yeah. I was like, paintings and stuff. I was like, hey, really nice art. Oh, thank you. Right? Now let me see them titties. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> not, th- right, right. not that, right. but daddy took a shot. Oh, <laughs> no. Daddy, why? Why okay, do I listen, have to do listen, that, Daddy? And, listen, and it was like it was bad. You know what I mean? Like just like what? What did you say? What I, did you follow up with? I was she saying like it was like I was saying like dumb things. You know oh, what I mean? No. Like and then it was like uh, and, and then but here's a, here, here's what happened. My brother I, does this. Show. I said something and she was like, you know, is it? Do all comedians make women uncomfortable? So that's the moment that I went. Oh, this isn't gonna go the way I thought it was gonna go. Back that you know what I mean? Like, whoa, <laughs> sorry. No, yeah. I really was like, and yeah. I'm just saying, like, hey, you know, like, you know, I know, I, I'm comedians are awkward, but then it was like, it's too late. It was already down to like, you know, you blah blah blah. Do you, you remember know? what you said? I just, I don't, I remember one of my dumb pickup lines. Oh, what is it? Okay, this is. Give it to us. Are you ready for this one? Um, you like a corn dog. <laughs> Wait, that's the whole that's the whole pickup. <laughs> because you just dipped in sex, <laughs> dipped in sexy. It's terrible. Wait, wait. But I was being funny. Do you like in a my corn mind. dog? Keep going, because I'm confused. Because you know when you have a corn dog, you got to dip it in the corn dog sauce, and when you pull it out, it's all covered. Uh huh. That's you. I, I di- you dipped in a sex sauce. <laughs> you know. What wait. I mean? So what's the line? <laughs> this in- Brittany. Do you like corn dogs? No, no, Brittany. You Brittany. In sex? No, Brittany. It's, I don't remember the wording, but it was bad. Oh, okay. I was, <laughs> like, I was ma- like, is this an actual line? No, it doesn't uh, matter. I was just being funny. I mean, I do love corn dogs. <laughs> <laughs> this could work on me. You that kind of do chick? You love corn dogs? I'm like, hell yeah. I it love wasn't corn like dogs. that. It was just, it was just a bad. It, it was one of these things where here's the real problem. It'd be funny if you said, "Do you like corn dogs?" And she was like, "Yeah, good, because I'm corny as hell." <laughs> Which is exactly what it was. Okay. I love that though. But okay, here's the ahead. thing, though. It's like. Here's the problem. I'm just reaching out to all guys. Don't dip your foot in the water if it's cold. Ooh, okay? Good point. Only swipe, only message somebody 
if you get a swipe back, right, right, or if you get any kind of like, there's got to be something, a something. double tap on right, a right. on a hey, you know, something, yes, you know. And so I went in cold, cold, bad. I'm way older, but I've I listen. I I've had the same interaction with others, and it was fine, great, yeah, because it was just like, oh, you're funny. I know you who you know, are. Yeah. You know, you never know. Yeah. So you, know, this is one of those ones that went terribly bad. wrong. And then it just turns into like, and I even say like, yeah, I'm awkward. You know, even my ex-girlfriend, you know, I probably traumatized her. And then, and then the response to that is like, oh, do you think this is funny to say that you've traumatized women? It was like that kind of thing. Then I was like, oh, I'm talking to somebody really like that, that, that has no wherewithal. That I'm kidding. That, that, that doesn't understand humor yeah. or like, or, or, or any, even if like, you, even if you think somebody's not funny, right. you can still understand that they're trying to, to be, be funny, funny. Yeah. as opposed to being like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm that you, I am, yeah. yeah, it was that kind of yeah. thing. Then I was like, oh no, I really made a mistake here, Big you know? Mistake. So then I tried to, let me just unsend all these messages and dip out. Too late. Uh, you know, then- her friend hits me up. No! You should be ashamed of yourself. You're, you know. She's all lunch with seven girls. They all start messaging you. She's, ah! It's she's, like attack of the crows. Oh yeah, yeah. She was like, it was like, it's the funniest thing she did with this girl. She's like, you're a bozo. <laughs> Which was like such a great snap. You Call know what I mean? Like, someone a bozo she's like, You're is a the best. Bozo. That's the best. But then even goes even further to say like she's like because I I just have a I put a PO box on my web on uh-huh. my for my podcast you uh-huh, know uh-huh. and then she's like and do you think anybody's gonna send you anything to your dumb PO box and I was like well actually yeah I just a lot of people send me You're things like, I just got some really dope hot sauce like, like, I'm just like you know I got some corn dog recipes like yeah. hey bitch like you know but it was like one of these things where I go and I just I try to be as respectful as possible yeah. being like. Hey, I made a mistake. And they just kept. I own it, and it just yeah. they 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 wanted it to keep going. You know, then they put it on Twitter. No. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. But it's like, it, it, so it was just like one of these things where I was like, damn. And this was the artist. I made him. Yeah. She then so then like people are you know and of course the, the friends are piling in like oh. the guys are like oh Montez is trying to get you know what I mean and then the other people are like oh this is corny or whatever it is like that you know it was funny the reactions damn she posted it on Twitter yeah 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 it was, was like savage I know I know but it's like, like girl just let him go that's one of those things, yeah, but that's the sign of like immaturity yeah it's the sign of like somebody that's like you know I get, I get because I don't give a fuck. she wanted to drag you right 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 that was her enjoyment for the right day. right yeah. but like I. I say I don't give you a don't fuck. Care, Daddy's yeah. doing okay. <laughs> you just tweet that back. You know Daddy's I mean? still good. I could, yeah. but I, I could have said a number of things but that I didn't, didn't say because yeah. I was like, I get it. Right, right. Because then the other girl, the friend, is all like, you know, you don't understand. You, you men make women feel uncomfortable all the time, just like this and this kind of stuff. And it just goes down this rabbit hole of like, you know, it's like, okay. She took out all her issues that she's ever had with any I took on one you. for the team. Yeah, you took one for the whole football team. I took one the for the whole yeah, football yeah. team. I took one for the yeah. team, but it was like that was like a terrible the worst inter- and I, it was like I'm like, oh, I learned a lesson from yeah. that. And then also being like a pseudo celebrity, you have to watch what you say anyway. Be careful. You know, I, I had an, oh, this is great. This is actually, I have another one go, like this. Go, go, please. So a lot of times, like, I talk to, I talk to everybody. Right. If you send me a message, because people think like, I love when people say to me, they go, oh man, I can't believe you responded. You're I'm like, like you have no idea. You're yeah. the only person that messaged me. <laughs> You're you know like, no, I mean? literally no one no else one messaged me. No one is messaging me. me. So yeah. I'm like, I always go, I was hey, actually what's... excited to get yeah, your message. Like, this yeah. is great. You know, like, hey, how you doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? And so like, so then this like, this girl sends me a message. We're, we're She's like, I'm a fan. We're messaging back and forth. Yeah. I don't know. But she looks, obviously she's young, a young girl. Mm. But I don't realize how young. Oh, okay. No. So she's talking. To, but here's the thing. Her pictures on her page, provocative as fuck. I'm telling you, 15 year olds. Out here looking like they're forty. I'm t- I'm talking about really provocative. I know, so I know. I'm saying like careful. I'm gonna be in the whatever town, and I'm like, well, maybe you should come to the show. And she's like, well, you know, I I I'll, I'll still be at school. She mentioned school or something. So I make a joke. I go, well, what are you twelve? You know? And then she and she hits me back and goes, no, I'm actually sixteen. Oh, and I was like, boy. I was like, ah. And then these are the words I used. And I, if, if I had to do it again, I wouldn't use these words. Yeah. But I said, then you really need to get these underage titties off the internet. Okay, and then it was like funny. Like I'm, yes. I'm like, all right, you know, good luck. You know, yes. I, that's all. Okay, yeah. Cut to like I don't know, maybe even a year later. This was before yeah. I even started dating my girlfriend. It, um, I get I get a message from this dude. Okay, he's he's actually hitting me up on a bunch of things. Pedophile. You know, he's he's saying all these things about me, right? And then he's like, then I get this tweet. You know, you know, you better hit me up in the DMs or I'm gonna ruin your life. 
He's hitting me up on Instagram like, you have 24 hours to get back to me uh-huh. or your life is over, uh-huh. you know? And I'm like, what the wow. fuck is this about, you know? Yeah. So then he um, he sends me the messages. He's like, look, this is my little sister, you know? And he goes, what do you want to do about it? You know what I mean? That's what he says. What do you want to do about right. it? So I I I have to look up. I, I'm 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 emailing the FBI now. Right, right, right. No right, real. Right. And I look up the I look up extortion. Yeah. And I send this to him. Yeah. Like yeah. what you're doing is actually a he crime. Was like, you need to pay me to make sure. That's what he was saying. Anything. What are you going to do to make sure that this doesn't? He this motherfucker don't know is I'll tweet the shit out, bitch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I did, I I have. You know how old she was. I, 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 and I, it's not like I was like seeking out like hey let's fuck nothing yeah. like that. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right. But this is just some loser idiot that's like, the, but pissing me off about it is you actually. Don't give a fuck about your sister. Yeah, you just want money. You were just trying to extort me from money wow. using Me Too, which he mentioned a bunch of times. You know, in the Me Too era, this could ruin you, that kind of thing. I'm thinking to myself, wow, you loser piece of shit. That's so sad. You know what I mean? So, like, I, mean, I have it's to, like, sad I ha- on both ends. so I have to, now I have to email with the FBI yeah, to yeah. be like, hey, here's this guy who I, because it's like, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't like, even email the FBI, by the way. Oh, you go to the website. They have, like, they have, like, a support. Like, you know, you, you, you stop. Yeah, you have, like, yeah, this. You can go to FBI.com. Yeah, and yeah, email yeah. There's, them? like, contact, you know, like, stop. different departments or whatever it's like that. So I got to let this guy know. Like, I'm like, I'm like, hey, okay, so guess what? I am, you know, I'm gonna. This is a real thing. You're, 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 you're. This is illegal. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, good luck with whatever you want to do. I, you know, put it out. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Block. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Never talk. Now, the next time I heard from him, this is this is great. I'm glad, it's the first time I'm even telling this story wow. all together. Wow. But the first time I heard from him again was when like, okay, so again, uh-huh. I'm in. Uh, I'm on Instagram. All right. I'm talking with some girl. She's hot, you know. Yeah. She got a kid though. I could tell she's got a kid. Uh-huh. So she, cause that's the kid is on her Instagram a lot, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm, but she looks young, so I could tell like, oh, she had this kid when she was young. Yeah. So we're talking back and forth, and we're flirting. She's getting naked on her Instagram. You asked her how old she was this time, right? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, this, yeah. <laughs> you should open up well, every. She's got a kid. <laughs> yeah. Well. Six, <laughs> hey, have you seen looks, sixteen and pregnant? The kid's yeah. ten. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. I thought I was good on okay, this one. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> you know what I mean? So she's like, and she's being like nasty. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. She's like, you know, oh, she said she goes in the bathroom and she's like butt ass naked on on uh, on the Instagram showing me pictures. You know, like, and I'm like, okay, cool. So now we're chatting for like I don't know how long. Mm-hmm. We're chatting for like um for months. Mm-hmm. But pr- pr- in the process, I I remember this. This was so funny because now I look back on it and I know what it was now. So I asked her for her. I said, well, give me your number because I'm old. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm like, yeah. I want your phone number. I'd like to call you on my rotary phone. You are, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and it's a silly thing. It's like the, the millennials and the, and the older generation, they have this fight about how you communicate. Right. And I feel like millennials, they, they just don't know how to communicate. Mm-hmm. And then they say dumb things like, oh, I don't, I'm not big on social media. Like, so, right. And not realizing that social media and the direct message function on those apps are not the same thing. Right. The DM is actually a communication tool. Right. Equivalent to email, texting, right, right, or calling. Right. So treat it as such. Right. Anyways, I say to her, she, she goes, oh, she goes, well, I only give my number to like my, my for business and my really personal. Friends. And then I use Instagram for everything else. Mm-hmm. I thought that was ridiculous. So we have a whole discussion about it. Right. All right. Cut to. I'm still talking and flirting. We make plans, but it breaks every day. Something always comes right, up. Right, right. Cut to, I get a message from a guy. Oh, oh by the way, no. on her stories, on her stories, the guy always is there. There's a guy. So I assume I go, oh, is that the baby daddy? And she's like, yes. These are the words she used, Brittany. We're good friends. Mm. You know, we've known each other f- since we are young, and then- we got, I got pregnant, and now we're really, we're like best friends. We're, she made it very clear that they were friends. That they were she friends. She used the friend word. Yes. Okay. 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 And but I know how a guy is. I'm mm-hmm. looking at this picture, and then this dude is always on the DM. Oh, uh, it's on her the story. husband or a boyfriend. Yeah, really, <sighs> For sure. Sure enough, I get the call. Oh no. I get the the, the DM from the dude. Mm-hmm. Hey, I saw your corny ass messages to my woman, and I was like, Yo, dude, like I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Let a player play. Like, don't yeah. get mad at me. Yeah. I think it is so ridiculous when people get mad at the person yeah. that your spouse or boyfriend, girlfriend is cheating on you with. And she said that he was her friend. If she said that, that's fucked up. And he's going on and on and on. Now, by the way. Did you tell him? So, yes. He said you were I, I was trying my to tell friend. Him. But this is what happened. So, he, he wants to put on his story about it. 
Okay? And then that crazy guy, this the brother of the sister, he somehow he saw it. Oh yeah, that guy's a pedophile. He uh <laughs> <laughs> And then this guy, he puts that up, and like he can't. Be, then I was like, I'm out. I, oh, I checked no. out. I you was got, like, you block got, you. I blocked him. I blocked the girl. The moral of the story, and I was is, out. You got to be so careful these days because girls do look older than they are. Not even just about and that. And they act older than they, they try are, to act. And they try to act older than they are. And so you like honestly, any advice to anyone in my audience right now who's listening to this horror story because it is a horror. It's story. a horror story because it could have been a lot. Any, it could have been a situation. A worse. Look at yeah, me. I'm like, talking about it. Still like, could be. I don't look know. At, look at who you know. If you met up with her, you'd been f- like it. Would but horrible. I wouldn't have. Like, you wouldn't have. Yeah. yeah that's I mean, the whole like, thing. Is I wouldn't have. Now on, if when you guys or girls or whatever, even for women, I mean, I see all these teachers in the news who are going to jail. For sleeping with their like thirteen year old students, but women you, teachers. What I'm saying is, once you get to that point, yeah, yeah, this is completely different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is completely different. Where like you're in because because on the internet you can interact with so many people right, from right. different age right, ranges. Right, 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 right. You know, so it, to my point is like I can clearly see that this is somebody young. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right. Like she's eight, if she's eighteen, nineteen, or twenty, like yeah, I'm not gonna get into a relationship with this person. Right. You know what I mean? Like what? Right. Like what? You know, I'm I'm interacting with fans or whatever it is like that, uh-huh. right? You know, uh, you know, it's like, yeah, being a creepy old guy is like, yeah, a 20 year old still hot. Yeah, they look sexy. So you're like, hey, what's up? You know what I mean? I mean, it is what it is, you know, but it's like but like you have to know your audience, like know who you're talking to and be be aware of like and you just you just can't say whatever the hell you want to say anymore. You got to be so careful. I mean, because literally you're not the first person I've heard Like, you know, we have friends who girls will message these guys and. They look older than they are, and they'll talk to these girls for a while, and then, like, somewhere down the line, the girl goes, oh, yeah, I'm 16, or I'm 17, or, you know, and people are like, And you have horrified. a history of, ma- yeah, hor- you're like, you, you look back and, and be like, what did I say? It's, horf- it's horrifying, and it's scary, and you need to, like, honestly, guys, just be careful yes. for yourselves. Like, yes. you need to fuck, make her send her a picture of her fucking driver's license. Yeah. Like, and even then it could be a fake. Even then it could be a fake. You know, it's like you got you got to like j- just protect yourself because there are people out there that you know. Yeah, they're trying to do. They're just trying to do whatever they're trying to do. And yeah, it's just, or it's young just... girls who just want attention and they don't know, and they're just like, oh, I like like this attention, and like you know, like they're, I know. they're just young and and it's hard. I mean, it's scary. The internet is is made into a scary place I for know. a lot of people. And then there's no like, there's no, there's no honor in it either. Because look yeah. at these, the other girls were like, oh, we're just gonna put this out, you know, yeah. like, you know, you go, oh, there's no there's code. No, there's no code. There's no respect. There's no like, tell me off. You know, you yeah. had your friend tell me off. She tried to bully me. You right. bo, you bozo. <laughs> I love that. I do love bozo. I love that too. Like, I do love bozo. Bozo was hilarious. Bozo was hilarious. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I will say, like, you know, like in times of this, like the, the internet, just for your own protection. Like, I mean, fuck. Like, especially if you're a single dude or a single girl. You know, you never know who you're talking to. And and ex- like, for real, people put pictures up. And I know it's not them. Oh, we, we know, you know. What, you know what I get? You know what I get when I'm talking to somebody like you know, even you match with somebody, whatever. Yeah. This is the one I get. They'll say like, "Hey, can you, can you send me a picture with like you know three fingers up?" Oh yeah, to make sure it's yeah, you. I, yeah. I, I, sure. I'll do it. I've had people be like, like you know? "Let's show today's newspaper." I'm like, "Well, I don't yeah. read the." What newspaper. is this proof of life? Yeah. That's, yeah. You know, so I but because I get it. There's so much. Of it's what just you went through out with there. this, yeah. and then there's so much of, uh, you know, just people fake catfishing, pretending they're someone they're not. But by the pretending way, I don't, they're older than they are, pretending but, they're younger than they are, pretending they're not girls, guys, whatever. But I, but I also want to say that I don't want to just put it on that. Mm-hmm. I want to also say like my own responsibility is to like. You know, watch what you say. Yeah. You know, like, you know, it's like, you know, Lesson tread, learned. tread yeah. lightly. Yes. Like, what I, the learn from that is like, not everybody's going to respond to being hit on. Not yep. everybody wants to be hit on. Nope. Like, just because a girl has like, you know, you know, like her, her, five of the first eight pictures are, you know, you know, bikini pictures. That's not a, yeah. It's not an invitation to, to say be, like, a, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah that I means, want it. That means I want to fuck every guy on the internet. Yeah, no, it's. <laughs> I know. And that's so it's like I, I'm gonna I'm 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 taking my own like you know well, pause. That's good. So it's yeah. like you know you just have to like you know it, it just takes more steps is all. Mm-hmm. Like you'd like to think that like it's direct connect. So it's like oh shit you looking good you like me I like you let's do this. Yeah, but it's like no nah, like slow it anymore. down. Yeah. Hi. 
Hi. It's like almost How like you, you? you almost got to be like hi. Like a questionnaire has to go forward, you know. Instead of a swipe, it's got to be like when you swipe, it goes boom. Questionnaire. Yeah. Are you looking for this? What kind of person are you? Are yeah. you blah blah blah? Then you go okay. I finished the questionnaire. You're like yeah. okay. Now you can swipe. <laughs> right. I know it's actually kind of you know the fact that Tinder and all that stuff and you know people can go on there and say yeah I'm 18. Excuse me, and there's no physical proof that these yeah, people are less age and stuff I know, like that. But, it's, but it's scary. There's a certain maturity level that you have to have a sense of, mm-hmm. and that's the thing where it's like I think guys lose sight of, especially like if you're so as you get older, you know, you're, like, you're talking mm-hmm. to somebody immature, you're talking to somebody you that know like that they're a kid. they know that they're a kid because yeah. like it's like like because I, I met my ex girlfriend on Instagram mm-hmm. and we, we had a great start. You know, it was like you know it was like you know hey you know you know she liked some of my pictures and I was like. Uh, you know, hey, what's yeah, up? I saw yeah. a little picture and I was like, "Damn, you fine? What's yeah, up?" Yeah. You know, she was like, "Oh, I'm a, f- I'm a fan of the show you're on and this kind of thing." And it was like, then we just started talking and it was uh-huh. gradual and it uh-huh. was great and it turned into something beautiful. Right, you know what right, I mean? Right. So it was like it can happen. So it's like I'm not saying to guys take your shot, but like you know, do it. You, sometimes you gotta you gotta know your audience. Yeah, and you gotta be polite. Like, don't go in there like. You know, and I tell guys this all the time. Like, I mean, it's fun to be like whatever up front, I guess. But like, most girls don't respond well to that. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, they don't. Ninety percent <laughs> of the time, the girl's gonna be like, "What are you doing? What are like, you? Why did you, you know, say that?" Girls want to be like, I. I mean, my personal experience, girls want to be like romanticized like they want to be courted they want to have we have this dream of like you know a guy coming along who is different than all the other guys and he's you know he's He's romantic (laughs) and he cares about my feelings and my thoughts and my brain imagine if all the guys you've been with before you got married if you had actually looked for those things well that's much happier you would have been that's why i dated the one guy because he seemed like he really yeah, cared but that about was my the, brain and I know, stuff but, like that, right? But, but yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. when you were 24. Right, right. <laughs> no, I mean, honestly, like, I wished, you know what I mean? Because we watch these, like, rom-coms and we watch these movies and we, like, see this love and we're like, I want to love like that. And, like, it's not realistic, to be honest. Yes. But girls do want that. So if you're a guy and you're trying to hit on a girl, you know what? Be, make them feel like that. Make them feel beautiful, not cr- in a creepy way. Make them feel, right, you know, right. like... Don't be... A- you Don't know. be a creep about it. Just be like, you know, you're really beautiful. Beautiful is a word not really commonly used. People always say, you're hot. You're hot. Beautiful, gorgeous. Beautiful. You're gorgeous. I really like your smile. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. your work. I like what you wrote right here. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know, but that's what like it is. How like you. you. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, like the, you know, like the art. Like, I love your paintings. You're so talented. Where did you learn yeah, and, how to and, paint and, and like by the, that? And by the way, just you don't also f- do that. But you also don't got to follow up with like, oh, I love your art. You don't follow up with, and nice titties. Yeah, never. <laughs> never do that. Because then we know it's like, oh, okay. This was Vegas. You, you don't know, care Check this out. Check this out. Yeah. Even if it's a line. Yeah. You know, put some, put some. Put some thought into the line. Yeah. And then let the line linger for a while before you are automatically like go from like, oh, did my line work? All right. I'm in. And you know? I think sometimes guys think like, oh, I don't care about that stuff. But like. If you give yourself a chance to ask someone, you know, genuinely about them, you'll be surprised how sometimes, like, well, you'll find, like, oh, actually, that's really cool, like you a, know? Like I say, as a, as a non-traditional handsome man, yeah. you know, okay? Uh, uh, what I'm saying is, like, you say that, but, yeah. like, the thing is, the guys that even you yourself yeah. were going for from 19 to 26, yeah, those guys... They don't always have to do that, right? <laughs> right. You know, like it's not always going to work. It's not always going to work. It's not, yeah. but it's not a prerequisite, right? Right. For those guys to be charming and nice and all yeah. these kind of things, it's because you know, there's like we're just so we're just so hormonal and primal in our young years mm-hmm. that like you know, it's like I'll change him. You know, it's like, yeah. and, and then like, and also like you know, I just think sex also gets in the way of mm-hmm. like you know what. It's, it, it, the, the worst thing ever is to have great sex with someone that you just do not get along with. Ooh, <laughs> I've never had that. Oh, uh, you've never? No, I've always had an I, ex. Uh uh-uh. uh. You just move on. You're a I move on person. No, no, no. I can't sleep with someone unless I'm totally into them. Oh, well, good for you. I am like not interested unless I 100% am into that person. Oh, see, that's I think, but I think that's an important. That's an important thing because we so easily connect with people. I think you can connect with anyone if you give yourself the opportunity. Yeah. I really think so. I really believe that, that you can 
if you open yourself up to finding out about this other person and letting yeah. them find out about you, being uh -huh. vulnerable, being honest, a connection can spark. But we don't allow that to happen unless it's somebody that we find attractive, outwardly attractive. We don't yeah. even give people a shot. A chance sometimes. We don't even yeah. give them a chance. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then that person that we found attractive, we don't even give them a chance to let us know how not compatible they are with us. <laughs> yeah. You know what, though? I have girlfriends who are like me. I had a girlfriend who was dating a comedian who was not good looking. And she's beautiful. And Mine. she dated him because she thought he was funny. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. That's a, 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 listen, so that I, happens. I've been there. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> Dad, girl, I've been there. That's my whole life. That's, my, that's my whole thing. Stop. <laughs> stop. That's my, that's my, hey, listen, I know I'm, I'm adorable. I get it. Aww. You know what I mean? I, I, I know that when people like me, I know that, like, this, this is something I always do. Like, this is a funny thing because when my ex girlfriend, I said, can I see the guys you've dated? Mm -hmm. Can I see you pictures of them? You want to see my, my Tommy asked to see my. Ex I want to see him. Yeah, yeah. Cause the reason why I want to see him is because I want to see like, I need. I, I want to see your dad. I want to see what your dad looks you look like. Just like him. I want to see what your dad looks like, and I want to see the guys you've dated. Yeah. And when I saw my ex girlfriend's guys, I was like, oh, okay, you got a type. You know. Really. Yeah. I was like, oh, you got a type. Okay, cool. Because, like, if I get with a chick and I look at her exes and they're all pretty boys, something's up. Scary, yeah. You know she's after something else. I'm thinking, like, something's going on. I have the most random you know? exes, though. Like, I have, like, really handsome exes, really yeah, not handsome exes. I have, like, the whole different gamut. different because you are a weirdo. I'm a weirdo. You've been a weirdo yeah, for as ever. long as I've known you. You know what I mean? Like, straight up. So it's like, I'm not it's surprised. True. Like, like I'm not surprised. Like, you're not, yeah. like, you're not, like, let's say, like, normal is from here to here. Yeah, yeah, You don't yeah. live in these areas. No, I don't. You I actually, live, like, outside No, no, it, your parameters are yeah. like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what makes us different from, I'm like, regular so society. so weird. Yeah, 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 I get it. I get it. No, it's true, because I know? actually, I showed, Tommy said the same thing. He's like, I want to see your ex-boyfriends. And when I showed him my last ex, he almost dumped me. <laughs> right, right, because you know why? Because as a guy, <gasps> as a guy, like, you go, "This is this is what you like." He's like, "Are you fucking high?" He was like, "Were you on drugs? Were you drugged?" Like he almost like broke up with me. Like my ex girlfriend had a couple of like, there was a there, there was a couple of lookers. Uh -huh. There was a couple. I was like, "Okay, here's the here's the your handsome phase." Yeah, you know what I mean. And there's yeah. other ones. I was like, "Oh," and then her dad's like a big ginormous guy. Yeah, I'm like, "Oh, you like you you like a little meat on him. You like some chunk." Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, you like you you know, and it's and that's fine. You just need to know like where you stand. You know what I mean? Like I say to like, uh, there's somebody out there for everyone. There is. There's even a, the, my grandma used to say, "There's a lid for every pot." And even the type that you think you like, you'll find a type that likes your type. But the only way you're going to do that is if you put yourself out there. You have to be vulnerable and, like, open up, and you're going to find this thing. You're going to find it. Yeah. And you, you surprise yourself. You know what I you mean? You have to definitely want want to find something and, and be open to the universe. And also, I noticed when I found my husband was when I kind of gave up, and I was kind of like, you know what? I'm just going to, like, let whatever happen. And I kind of just yeah. let life happen. And I got really focused on myself and was like, I'm going to really be the healthiest version of me right. as I can. And I'm going to try to do all this great stuff with myself. And then, you know, then he came along. So best advice of this podcast today is love yourself yeah. first. And then someone else will be able well, to you, Well, you know, the thing too is you really got to do, you got to be okay with yourself. You yes. Know? You got to know that you're the prize. Yes. You know? Uh, second advice: Don't give girls creepy messages. Try to be as uh, charming uh, no, no, as you e can. That's not even. That's not even the first. The first advice is: If you're going to be online, you know, don't dip your toe in cold. Yeah, yeah. Don't go go you know? for. Don't go for jumping in the water if you don't know what's in it. You don't know what's in it. You don't yeah. know. What's, and, that, and that's my apologies. I say out again. I said to uh, many times yeah, yeah. in the interaction. Yeah. I am sorry if I made you uncomfortable. Yeah. I totally get that. Yeah. I was just, you know, I just was being my silly self. Right. You know what I mean? I just, you know. And some people don't take it well. Exactly. That's just life. I mean. And that's why, too, also older guys, hey, guys, you know, you got to remember that when you're talking to children. Yeah. You know, they're children. I mean, young girls. Yes. Not Under children, hopefully. No, no, no. Right. <laughs> In the brain. <laughs> you're talking to young yeah, yeah. people. Cut that out. Yeah, cut that part you're out. You're talking to you're young, ta Remember, guys, you're talking minds. to six-year-olds. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, and Eric's off the podcast. I know. So it's like, no, you're talking. Yeah, you got to remember, like, people on, under 25, especially people under 25. Under yeah, 25, anyone you know, under 25 is just, is just not. They're not where you want them to be. I mean, no, I was, but, not. you know, it just depends. <laughs> I mean, I was. No, I was weren't. very immature, you but, you know. 
Anyway, I love you. Thanks yes. for being here. Yes, thanks for having me. And make sure me. to follow Eric's podcast, Riffin, Riffin with Griffin. Griffin. I'm gonna have you on. I would love to be on. Yeah, if you can drive to like, you know, I can. Encinitas, where no, is Culver it? City? <laughs> Culver City. Oh yeah, I can. Do You're that. just a monster now. You're just like a shut in. I know. You go I from your Calabasas house to here. To here. Back, you know what back. I mean? And, and now, I, and this is so great that now you don't. You're like, oh, I don't even have to audition. I'm why? Let me just I do this. Know, this I just is do great. My podcast. This is. You know, and, and it's like I'm talking to my people. I have too much that I don't have to see. I have too much stress that. I like can't go anywhere else. Make sure to subscribe to his podcast. He's Eric Griffin on Instagram, right? Yes. And just I'm Eric uh, Griffin on everything. On at everything. Eric Griffin. E-R-I-K e- Griffin. G-R-F-F-I-N. I love that. And thank you for being here. Yeah, anytime. Yeah, this was g- you good. Know. And, you know, guys, I, I you love something. and appreciate all of you. And thanks for listening. And make sure to like and subscribe on Instagram and tell all your friends and keep sharing this podcast. Uh, it has five stars on iTunes. I don't know if that matters or anything. Uh, my dad says it's good. And, yeah, that's out of five, not out of ten. Uh, I'm really <laughs> proud of it. And uh, I wanted to read you guys some of these reviews we got over here. I got one 23 hours ago from Sam Danman. He says, you're doing great. I love the mental health discussion because I'm struggling with anxiety and depression. Well, send some love to you, uh, Sam Danman. Totally loving it. Um, Someone gave me four stars. Uh Uh-oh. They said, currently binging (laughs) this podcast after discovering it this week. Brit's hilarious and I laugh constantly. Love you, girl. Thanks for being so authentic and real. All right, I don't know why she gave me four, but <laughs> no explanation <laughs> for four. Your- <laughs> then we got Randy Pants, 38, five stars. Love this podcast theme and the guest. Brittany's hilarious and so brave for talking about anxiety. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it's a lot. I almost uh, wasn't able to come to my podcast today because I was having a panic attack, but Ooh. I did it. I made it. Yeah, I made it. I made it out here. Um, it says, uh, let's see, LXO says, Funniest podcast out there. I'm so obsessed with this podcast. In between the new episodes, I listen to all the episodes three times. It actually makes me look forward to my work commute in the morning. Brittany is hilarious. She always has a good rapport with her guests. By far the funniest podcast since Shane and Friends ended. I hope this podcast has a long future. Oh, I got a negative one. Should I read that one? <laughs> well, you might as well mix it in. All right. Uh, let's, <laughs> meet, let's, uh, let's read the, uh, the negative one. From Should I read some of my reviews of Riffin with Griffin? Dead. I know. This is all J- JC3 gave me a negative one. He said, one star. This is just an immature, spoiled brat who can't navigate a conversation. If you want real comedians who don't have to marry celebrities for fame and whose voice doesn't make you want to pull out your hair... Visit Kate Quigley or Christina P. This chick is a legit douche. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry, Jay. That (laughs) sucks. Sucks that you felt that you had to take the time. But thanks for listening. (laughs) That's what I always say. I always say, like, thanks for listening. That's definitely someone who knows me personally. And also, it's probably, (laughs) it's actually probably, (laughs) for sure. (laughs) And if it's actually, and it's probably actually one of the people that they mentioned to go to their podcast. That's hilarious. Um. Everyone else says, Brit's awesome, love the podcast, came from Bobby's podcast, Barb Star, Pac 44. Listen, I just appreciate you guys. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's so awesome to be able to do something that you love and have people enjoy it, so thank you so much. And the Bobby fans are great, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, Bobby, the Tiger Belly people are like, yeah, so shout like out to the there. Tiger Belly people. No, they're, they're just monsters, but they, yeah. they, they still support. Okay. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Um, so basically, yeah, I, I love that you guys are on here and leaving me these cool reviews on iTunes, and I'm so grateful for all of you, the mean ones included, because it means you took the time to listen to a podcast. So that's uh, and be pretty, so detailed. Too. I know detailed. I know your life. I know you. you know. Yeah, you know everything about me. I'm yeah. all dad. Uh, no, I'm <laughs> no. just kidding. Um, but yeah, no, this is great, and thank you guys so much for listening and for more. Uh, cool stories, a bunch of celebrity guests to have Worst First. Come on, check out Worst First on iTunes. And we'll see you next week with Worst First.